Hi, I'm Will Townsend, and this is 6.5 Media on the road at RSA Conference 2025. And I'm speaking with Cohesity's Chief Product Officer, Vasu Murthy. Vasu, how's the show been for you so far? Amazing. Great people, great location, yeah. weather. It's been just great. Weather is awesome. It was a, it was a little cloudy, but it's, uh, the sun is out. But before we get started, I know you're a science fiction fan. So what's your favorite, Star Trek or Star Wars? I like both, but if I were to pick one, it would be Star Wars. Oh, you and I are going to get along really well today. I'm a big Star Wars nerd in my office. I have all the Star Wars paraphernalia, and you know, my, my wife just gives me constant grief about it. But that's, that's fun. That's awesome. Uh, we're both Star Wars kids. But, but let's get into it. So tell me a little bit about Cohesity and your role as the Chief Product Officer. And you know, there's a lot of synergy with Veritas, right? So let's spend some time there. It's amazing. Uh, well. So Cohesity was built as a data platform that can house all the world's data. Mm -hmm. And we built great applications on top of it, Data Protect, uh, that gets all the data into the platform. We built a whole suite of product for cyber resilience, and now we are building for AI. But Net Backup has been there for so long, and so many customers trust it. It supports so many data sources. What if Net Backup is also an app on our platform? Mm -hmm. That's a great way to bring the value of the platform to all of our customers, mm -hmm. uh, 85 of the top 100 customers in the world, 70% uh, of Fortune 500. So that is the opportunity we have uh, with the synergies between the companies. Yeah, we're going to get a little more into AI in a moment, but um, I know that you uh, just announced Recovery Agent, and can you speak a little bit about that, and, and what has the Veritas partnership done to enhance that solution? So cyber resilience, that is being prepared for a cyber attack and being, a, being prepared to recover from cyber attacks is, is pretty hard. It's a hard thing to do, yeah. right? Um, most customers, when they're attacked, they are trying to recover for the first time. They never practiced it before. Mm -hmm. And if you don't practice enough, you're not going to be ready when it hits. Sure. The reason we do fire drills is because we know exactly what to do when a fire happens, right? Yeah. Um, and, but there are not enough tools for, for customers to practice this recovery from cyber attacks. Mm -hmm. And even there are tools for disaster recovery, uh, and people have been trying to repurpose that for cyber, for cyber recovery testing. Mm -hmm. uh, but those are not adequate. They really don't reflect the real um, you know, needs of cyber recovery. Plus, they're difficult to use. So sure. if it's difficult to use, people are not going to They're use disparate. It. I mean, there's a lot of tool sprawl that's associated with that, right? It's disparate, yes. Yeah. So Veritas actually set out to solve this problem. We're building the first version of the product called Cyber Recovery Orchestrator. Mm -hmm. um, and within months, so you know, the two companies came together December 10th. And in, within months, we were able to get this combined product that works on data protection. That's also. incredible. Like the time, you know, time to integration, the time to market. Like that speaks volumes to the engineering teams on both sides of the equation. Yeah, it not only speaks volumes to the engineering teams, the abilities, it also speaks to the amount of effort, the path that's been put in to modernize the platform, mm -hmm. keep it up to date, use the latest framework such that we could bring these things together, the API based, uh, containerized, uh, that can really just- Microservices Microservices makes it so easy to blend these things together. Yeah. So to launch this with additional functionality, right. uh, including Agentic AI that we're going to talk about. Yeah. Uh, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. And so this tool is really built for cyber recovery testing. And it has primitives for malware scanning. You can drag and drop there. It, has, it knows what rehearsals mean because it, it doesn't, it's not the same thing as in disaster recovery. Right. And it can, it can um, also help build these complex scripts to test it and give you a certification of how long it took in a cyber recovery environment. Mm -hmm. And we have a whole bunch of assistive and Agentic AI features as a part of it. Well, let's get into that because you and I were talking before we got started. Yeah. And modern AI presents a host of challenges, right? Mm -hmm. um, it requires data. It requires the unification of data. So can you speak to that you know, and, and what Cohesity is doing to, to address this whole notion of unstructured data that, that customers are struggling with on a daily basis? Yeah. So AI touches upon everything we do now. Right, it sure. touches our lives. In well, our, it's got to, right? Stuff. You got to check that box. So. <laughs> it's got to. Um, so we are doing a lot in making our products easy to use, getting customers' workflows easier. Mm -hmm. And let me go digress a little bit on the recovery agent side, and then I'll sure. come back to this larger yeah, question. Yeah. Um, if you had an AI that has seen many such blueprints for runbooks being created, mm -hmm. and it knows what kind of complexities that entails, 
It knows the kind of patterns that are, that are in customer, customer um, inventory, uh, what kind of applications that could be. You know, typically disaster recovery has been relegated to some core subset of applications, mm -hmm. like a minimum viable thing. But if you want to expand that, you need something that is smart enough that can scale and keep up to date with all the changes in infrastructure. Because it's, it's very dynamic. It's always changing, right? Always the changing. The threat factor exactly. is always changing. And so you suppose you have, have this repertoire of um, you know, training data, and you can actually build an agent that finds such patterns, automatically creates runbooks for you, mm -hmm. automatically groups applications, saying, hey, you did report on these things together, and you have a different SLA for these, so they must be together in one application. So we put them together sure. and create blueprints and so on. So there's a whole bunch of work we are doing to make the day-to-day -day lives of our customers easy. Mm -hmm. But then there's the other side of AI that we have a pretty unique um, um, value proposition for customers mm -hmm. is that throughout the world, we have customers managing hundreds of exabytes, hundreds of exabytes of data, mm -hmm. right? The exabytes is you know, a thousand petabytes mm, right. and hundreds of exabytes of data in our platform. And this data includes everything the customer's more, you know, valuable assets, sure. all their crown jewels are in there. It's already aggregated. And we have a great opportunity to now unlock that data, mm -hmm. make it useful for them by providing AI directly on top of the data to be able to answer questions mm -hmm. on top of it. So we have already an application called Gaia that works on top of the data. And why a backup data? Um, that is because, first of all, we already done the tough job of integrating all the unstructured data in one place. Mm -hmm. We also run data classification on it. We know the data security posture of this data. So we know that you don't want to be using PII, you know, right. identifiable information, yeah. while training Heaven forbid that, that leaks, and there's data leakage with all of these models. Right? Yes, yeah. yes. And so we can anyway scan it, help you uh, remove such information from that data. Plus, we are immutable. So you can go back and audit in right. case you want to check that. And so we built this application for Gaia, and our customers are super interested in, in multiple ways, to answer questions from the data, to experiment with data, to roll it out to you know, multiple departments. Mm -hmm. And so this is another huge opportunity. It's all because we started as a data platform. Mm -hmm. So when you start as a data platform with application on top of it, you have data protection, recovery, just you know, recover faster from any, for any incident. Sure. You have cyber resilience functionality that makes it much easier to recover from cyber attacks. Mm -hmm. And now we have this whole AI stack that can help customers get insights from their data and, you know, accelerate the adoption of AI in their company. I mean, it's powerful, you know, faster time to insight. Um, you're removing friction yeah. from the whole management process and ultimately delivering tremendous value to organizations. But I'd like to go back to what I touched on about, you know, it's pretty incredible how the two companies came together mm -hmm. in, in, in such a quick amount of time. I mean, from your perspective, I mean, how do you align product design, documentation through that development cycle? Because, you know, obviously you're doing a great job. You, you mentioned, you know, you're working with the largest companies on the planet. Like, mm -hmm. can you give us sort of an inside peek to like how the sausage gets made, I guess? So for a company and products to be great, um, every part of the company, our, us need to be great, right? So sure. we all need to be great. In fact, it expands beyond design, documentation, and product. I mean, it goes into engineering, it goes into marketing. Yeah. We all need to work together. Right. One principle um, I do have is everybody must have a say in what we should build. That's, that's fantastic. And right. a lot of companies that are very innovative, like Google, give their engineers time to experiment, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, me being in a product position, it's actually a pretty privileged position. Mm -hmm. So we get to curate. So often product managers are asked to come up with ideas on how are you going to solve it? What's the strategy? Sure. Uh, but uh, the thing is, everybody can have a say in it. And, and the product managers are in a pretty privileged position to kind of curate that and say, hey, this will do first, this will do next. And this requires participation of everybody. How do we position it? Marketing needs to be involved pretty early in the cycle. Yep. Design needs to be involved because we are, we're, you know, they're worrying about how to get the best experience for customers. Mm -hmm. Documentation is involved because their whole job is to make sure people don't come to documentation. They don't need right, it. Right. So they get it's answers that easy proactively. To use, right? yeah. yeah, and also yeah. proactively, say, you know, in line as customers are working on our UI, it should be able to guide them. Sure. So in fact, my, my charter for my documentation team is and make sure people that never have to go to the docs, but make sure you work on the product itself. Right. Give them hints, give them clues on what to do next. Yeah. So users never need to go out of their context. 
to search for information. Yeah, I love that. I love that philosophy. Well, as we close our conversation, I want to talk about your vision. Um, you've been very successful, obviously. Um, you're only as good as you know, you know, you know, the next iteration of what you do. You've got competitors in your space. So what are you doing to drive the innovation value line and, and stay that much further ahead of the competition? So our long, longest differentiation, long-term differentiation is still going to be one of the first things that we did, which is the platform. Right. right. So our platform is so unique in this industry that, um, first of all, we can manage a lot of data in that, plus we can develop applications on top of it. Lots of adjacencies that flow out of that. Lots of adjacencies that flow that. And you yeah. can already see in this evolution of you know, data protection, cyber resilience, and in AI. In each of these areas, we have so much more to do. Mm -hmm. And so that is still going to be the driving advantage, differentiator for us. And with this new uh, set of customers that we have gotten with Veritas, mm -hmm. um, we have an opportunity to get them to better cyber resiliency, better AI utilization, the smoothest process possible. Mm -hmm. It's really about innovation. For all of our customers, we're going to have more workload support than any other company on the mm -hmm, planet, mm -hmm. um, more smoother transition from whatever architecture they may be in mm -hmm. into the best cyber resilient posture, as well as uh, being able to make use of their data for AI. And so that gives us enough, I think, for many, many years uh, of, of uh, you know, business and also many, many years of making our customers successful. Yeah, and it sounds like it's going to continue that innovation, you know, uh, slope upward you know into the foreseeable future and who knows well. what the next application would be i mean i mean are our minds blown by agentic ai like and we were just you know you know talking about generative a year ago and now like i'm, I'm beginning to see it you know at, at the conference this year and um it's it's exciting it's an exciting time to be in the tech industry and um to really use the power of modern ai to to drive more customer value yeah, there's so many ideas there in this case. I mean, yeah. think of, you know, very shortly, we'll have multiple agents in our product. One is taking care of each part of um, mm -hmm. the customer needs, like for threat scanning and threat protection. And now we just launched a recovery agent that takes care of the cyber recovery practice. Um, there's an agent for backup. We'll also use MCP to talk to agents in other products. Mm -hmm. For example, we can talk to the SIM and source of the world sure. and say, this is the kind of threat profile we are saying, and so they can get the right priority on the other side. It's not mm -hmm. just sending a record over and getting them, they will just understand yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We can actually have much more lively conversations between these agents yeah. that hopefully gets to better results, better security, better insights into data, right. and overall, you know, better success for our customers. Yeah. Well, exciting. Vasu, thank you for your time. It's been a, a very uh, compelling conversation. And I just want to thank our viewers for tuning in. This is 6.5 Media on the Road at RSA Conference 2025.